couple days removed from Liberty's first FBS conference win. Take us back a little bit of the New Mexico State game and then we'll preview Buffalo. Well, I, I thought our team, um, you know, handled handled the uh, second half extremely well. We came out of the locker room and and dominated the second half. Obviously, didn't like how we started from a, uh, a defensive standpoint, but uh, we were pleased with the victory after watching it. And there were some there were some really good things we did. We struggled with some uh, some penalties. You know, hurt us, uh, kept us. I think kept us from probably making the game a little bit wider margin, but. Pleased with the effort, pleased with the focus, and uh, you know now as we we've had the luxury of staying at home. Now we're going on the road for the first time, and first time for us, and first time us knowing how our guys are on the road. So there's a lot of new th new things there that we have to deal with, and so uh, but it was good to be one to know in the conference, and now we got to go uh, try to be one to know again. Take me into the conversations there at halftime. You guys come out in the second half and just totally commit to the run that nine minute drive. What were those kind of conversations like? Did you see something that you thought you could kind of exploit in the run game? Well, I thought uh, we thought in the first half um, we had a good mix and a good balance, and and, and we thought uh, um, with uh, not that we had to make any adjustments, but uh, how they were trying to play us, they were trying to limit certain things, and so once we identified that, we made the plan there in the second half. All right, this is how we're going to attack this and see how they want to see if they'll adjust, and they didn't. And that, that allowed us to, uh, I think, run it consistently, and we stuck to it. We weren't uh, – it wasn't like, hey, we're just going to run it down their throats, but our plan was if they're going to keep doing this, let's do this and see if there's an adjustment. And our guys handled it well. I think we overcame on that drive some penalties as well. So that really set the tone. I think that allowed our defense to settle in as well because, you know, we, we were sort of up and down there on defense, and we got the turnover right before halftime and we were able to get some points. And so the next time our defense came on the field, we were up uh, – what uh, 13 points I think and most of the third quarter was gone so uh, that drive was a huge deal and, and it wasn't like we were yelling at them or anything in the locker room it was just hey these are things that let's change this up let's fix this and our guys went out and executed that which was good to see I believe you're uh, tied for six in the country in rushing offense right now and I, you know it's obviously early and, and I think you probably would have thought that might have been a, a strength of your team going into the season but have you been at all uh, surprised or, or anything with the way that your rushing attack has has been so successful so early? Uh, you know, not surprised because you know we've we've tried to commit a lot to that. Um, you know, you want to we want to we want to try to be as balanced as we can as well. Now, balance doesn't mean you always fifty fifty, but you want to be able to do both. And I I think uh, I didn't know that statistic, which is great. Uh, but I think the what you saw us do in the second game was more like what we want to be. I think in the first game it was me probably playing a little cautious and wanting to fill out who we have and how they respond. And then there in the second game, you know, we started opening up more so we could be more balanced. Uh, but if we can if we can run the ball consistently when everybody knows you need to run it and we can still do that, then that opens up so much more in our passing game and, and our guys get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And so um, we know that uh, for us to be successful, we have to be able to do that. And, um, and our guys know that. So I think our offensive line is, is taking some – uh, you know, pride in knowing, hey, we want to try to rush the football for a certain amount of yards. And that makes it harder each week because everybody tries to stop it. So that's why the passing game has to be so important. But it was good to – I think what well, I'm more pleased with, it was good to have – I don't know the exact statistics, but we, it felt way more balanced, uh, obviously, and because in the first game we were, we were very uh, unaggressive, let's say, in the first game. To that point, uh, fewer carries for Caden, and you still had a – dominant rushing attack and he stood in the pocket a lot and looked like delivered the football. Pleased with the pr progress there as well? Yeah, I thought he, he did a nice job. We had the, you know, there on the first drive, we had uh, we had a bad call. We, we thought we were going to get something. They they they, uh, they did something else and, and then he made a mistake on top of our mistake, which is what we told him to do. We're going to make some, just don't make another one. But I think he responded to that tremendously well. Uh, we obviously didn't want him to run as much as he did the first game and so we tried to limit that. Um, and the thing that where he is really good in the short amount of time is if he can get out of that pocket, he can make something happen when he when the pocket breaks down. But he stood in there and made some nice throws this week as well. I thought he was in command. You know, he never looked like he was um, uh, out of out of control or anything of that nature. Uh, I was really pleased with that. Now the challenge is, um, you know, as people try to do different things to him, he's got to continue to to learn and grow and get better there. But I was pleased with how how he played and. 
uh, how productive that he was, and, and he put the ball and he, and he spread it around really well. Aaron Bedgood's a guy that uh, joined you this summer, and uh, you and your coaching staff have been familiar with him for, for quite a while now, going back to Coastal. Uh, how much of a you know maybe security blanket has he been during the early part of the season in training camp? Uh, you know, a guy that knows your offense, knows your system, knows you and your coaches. It's been huge. You know, uh, we, we picked him up, obviously, after the, the two injuries we had there uh, in the summer. And to be able to get somebody that uh, exactly knows your offense and knows what to do, and then we know what he's capable of. Uh, and he's played well the first two weeks, you know, and, and it's not something that's new for him. He's been in big games. And, uh, and the thing that makes it work is he's a very humble, he's very humble, he's very uh, unassuming, uh, but he is a really good player. He, you show, you're seeing that in special teams. He's doing a great job from a return standpoint. And then obviously he's making plays in our pass game. And uh, he probably would have had a huge play in a run game, but he dropped it. I'm going to tell him that too. He dropped the pitch and it could have been a touchdown. And so, but he's played well and he's capable of that. He's played well for us at, at previous places. And um, we're thankful we have him here. And, and he's been a great addition because he's not, he didn't bring an attitude. He just brought a, a humble work ethic, which was, which was a good mix for what we needed. Going to Buffalo, it's a team that you've experienced against from your time at Coastal. What do you remember about those games and just what makes this a challenging team to go against? Well, one, um, they, they're very tough-minded. So they're a physical team on both sides of the ball. They're, they're coaches that way. They do, a lot of, they do a lot of different things to try to confuse you. And so they're not one. They're not going to be intimidated. Two, they're, no matter what their record is, they're going to play hard. They, they, you know, they uh, last year they started 0-3 and then and won six out of seven or seven out of eight, whatever it was, and made it won a bowl game. And and so he knows how to get the ship right. And so I, and we've sort of shared our team. It's one, it's hard going on the road, and two, they're the most talented team we played regardless of their record. They have they have a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. They they're bowl champions, so they they understand what it takes to be in a conference. And so uh, this is a big challenge for us. And if we're not ready to go, they'll they'll smack us in the face and beat us. And uh, we've learned that firsthand. And so uh, we have to do a good job of preparing and, and playing well because they have they have good players on, on both sides of the ball. And uh, they if you look at the Wisconsin game, they played them really well for three whole quarters and then got away there in the fourth. And then last week they just had some unfortunate penalties. Uh, at some bad times that really allowed the other team to win or they'd have won that game. And so uh, we got to be ready to go. It seems like the first two opponents you guys have faced have, you know, really uh, focused on the run game you know, on their offense. But Buffalo seems to be the opposite, a little bit more of a passing attack. Uh, does that present some challenges uh, to your defense that maybe you haven't seen the first two weeks? Well, I mean, I think, the, I think uh, because we've not – handle the rush as well as we'd like, we're probably going to see more rushing attempts. You know, I mean, right now we're, well, we have seven interceptions. And so uh, from a pass standpoint, uh, you know, when the ball's in the air, if we get a chance to get the hands on it, we're doing pretty well with that. And so, but we've struggled consistently to, to um, you know, I, I would say they're rushing up and down the field, but to just consistently, you know, stop it when we need to. And so I think you, I think what we anticipate more is uh, maybe they're going to be a little bit more balanced because they do have big players up front and they can do that. Now their quarterback's good and they've got a good system. And so we obviously have to be ready for that. But uh, until we can prove that we can consistently stop the run, we're going to see more of that. And their quarterback's completing about 70% coming in, five touchdowns, no picks. Uh, that said, what kind of concerns you about their offense and what makes it go? Well, he's really good at executing, and what I mean by that, they get the ball out quick. Um, he makes good decisions, uh, and they have a they have a really good scheme with what they do, and so and he knows where to go with it. He's an experienced guy, uh, and uh, they show you a bunch of different things, different formations to try to make you think and motions and different stuff, and he knows how to. Uh, use those motions and knows where to go with the ball, you know. And, and so what we're going to have to do a great job of is, like last week, you know, we had some we had some coverage mistakes and it cost us. Versus a guy like him, uh, who's probably you know arguably the best quarterback that we've seen, um, we can't make those or he'll really hurt us. And so we're going to have to do a really good job of recognizing formations and and making sure we put ourselves in a in positions not to have miss assignments and some of those because they got they've got players that can. Can beat you when you do that. Looked like Nick Brown got a couple opportunities at, at PAT on Saturday. Is that something you anticipate going forward with that plan, him and, 
and also Tegan kicking the field goal? Uh, I think, you know, it's it's really probably an open competition. Uh, Tegan's done a nice job, uh, but we'll just see what happens through this week and stuff. You know, the, the uh, biggest thing that we've had um, is we've had two, three, three kicks blocked. You know, three kicks blocked, one went in, and then two other ones blocked. And so uh, we probably lead the country in that. And that's a statistic you don't want to lead the country in. And so uh, we've got to do a better job blocking. We've got to do a better job getting the ball up in the air so that doesn't happen. And so uh, we'll sort of see how it goes from there. Coach, are you a fan of flashy quarterbacks? Like, obviously, you want Kaden to be um, confident, but do you like that extra swag that he brings? No, I like swag. Uh, you know, is it my personal style? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that's my personal style. I've seen how I dress. But um, <laughs> I want a guy to be confident. More, more importantly, I just want him to be himself. You know, but I also, you want to make sure you always respect the game and respect your opponents. You know, I think any, that's the that's the thing that you want your team to do is always respect this game, always respect your opponents. Don't mean you can't be yourself, but don't want anybody to ever try to show up anybody or anything of that nature. I don't I don't believe in those things. But yeah, I want him to be who he is, his personality, uh, and uh, I want him to project the confidence he has in himself. Good. Time for one more. You mentioned you can't pay attention to their record. You're talking about Buffalo, they just lost at home to an FCS school. It sounds like that you've got some ways to kind of get their attention, though, talking about what they do well. And then also, too, just going on the road, does that kind of get your team to lock in and, and not potentially look past somebody, too? Well, I don't know. You know, it was the first time with them, you know. And so I don't know what the, the history was of, of certain things. Uh, but, you know, each week, what we talk about with our guys is that we're not we're not playing Buffalo. We're playing Liberty. You know, we're playing our mindset. We're playing what our preparation is. And last week, we didn't have the best week of practice on certain days, and it showed up in the game. You know, and so we point back to that, saying, "Hey, we practiced like this on Tuesday, and this Wednesday was like this, and this is why we came out of the gate like this." And so for us, yes, we know they're really good. We know they can they can beat us. But our focus more has been on like, "Hey, what do we have to do to play?" our best on Saturday, regardless of where we're playing. Uh, you know, there's FCS schools are just as good as FBS schools. That shows around the country. And so I don't I don't take them getting beat by them as, oh, they're not as good. They're, they're a good team. It just it went that way. Uh, and so our guys have to more about what we need to do prepare to play our best, whoever we're playing. You know, and, and hopefully, hopefully being on the road, I, I enjoy going on the road because it's only you and you, you know. there's. Uh, maybe not as many fans, et cetera, and you've got everybody against you. And so hopefully it brings you even closer together and you know you're going in to do something that, that uh, nobody expects you can do on the road, I think, in a tough environment. So hopefully that does bring us, you know, and allows us to lock in more. Uh, but this will be the first time on the road with our staff, you know, and all that. And so the players are going to be learning that new. We've had a lot of new ones. And so uh, this will be hopefully the last of uh, uh, them knowing how we handle road games and all those things.